Hi everybody, this is a new video to show you how to take through Design Space this SVG to cut a lovely large presentation box for two champagne flutes and two mini bottles of uh, champagne or sparkling wine. Uh, so there it is on my canvas, I've just brought it in. As usual, with any multi-part SVG with score lines, the first job you've got to do is convert those lines that come in as cuts, which should actually be scores. And as usual, with my SVGs, there they are in that first subgroup in your layers panel. If an SVG that contains score lines and cut pieces has been made correctly, saved correctly, it should come in in three groups. You've got this main group that contains absolutely everything and within that you've got the two subgroups, one that holds the score lines and one that has all the cut pieces. So the first thing we need to do, click on that first subgroup, the name of it, it's the second line down in your layers panel. Just clicking on the name selects everything in it. Then you go over to your operations menu, click on basic cut and choose score from the drop down menu. And you can see that they've all been converted now. Oops. And so while they're still selected, you need to go back to your layers panel and ungroup. I am on the desktop version of Design Space. If you're on the app, these commands will be elsewhere, probably down at the bottom of your screen somewhere. Okay, second step is to select the second subgroup, which is all the cuts on screen. And all we have to do there is ungroup to get all the pieces separate. And then finally, we need to click that final overall group of everything and ungroup that. So three ungroups, ideally in that order, score lines, cut pieces and the whole SVG. So now everything's a separate piece, we need to attach the scores to the individual pieces that they relate to. You can't select the whole SVG and just press attach because you'll end up with a project that's too big to cut and you'll get a message from Design Space telling you that it's incompatible or something. So the quickest way I think to select one piece is to just click on canvas somewhere near it, drag a box to enclose it more or less and then click attach and for the desktop version that's at the bottom of your layers panel, it'll be elsewhere on the app. And you need to do that for each individual piece on canvas that's got scores. So what I've just done there is obviously that's the box front, that's the back, these two long tall pieces are the side walls. Just make that miss that attach there. These are the little um, pieces that fold up to make a small box that the bottle sits in to get it up to the same height as the glasses at the top. You'll see why in a minute. These are the insert inserts that go at the bottom of the box to hold the glass stem two of those, two glasses, two bottles in this box and this is the box that goes at the top, sorry the insert that goes at the top of the box to hold everything nice and steady and just to make the box extra strong. You do get with this uh, SVG as usual a PDF of really comprehensive instructions with loads of photographs to show you how to assemble it but it's actually to say there are one, two, three, four, five, so eight pieces plus the acetate window here um, it's actually a really simple box to make. I love these boxes with the gable top. They seem to just speed things up massively and this lovely simple uh, folding bottom to the box as well. Right, so we'll click make it and see what happens. Um, you need the long mat for sure for this project and I'm in the UK so I'm going to choose A3. Um, A3 is a really common size in the UK. It's the largest size of paper that goes through most de desktop printers and it's really readily available in all sorts of different weights of cards. It is similar to the US size ledger or tabloid. It's, the US papers are just a little bit narrower and a little bit longer but um, this will fit on ledger or tabloid if that's what you can find. A lot of people I think as well in the, U in the US you have this stuff called poster boards. A lot of people seem to buy that and cut it down to fit on the mat. I usually talk about A3 and A4 though because I am in the UK and that's where a lot of my customers are. So we've come, we've changed the material type to A3 and we can see that two side walls and the top insert fit on one. The box front 
and the box back require one on their own and then these small pieces have been scattered over two mats but they actually will fit and I'll show you what you need to do you just need to go to the first of those two mats where they're spread out rotate these two pieces these are the bottle inserts you're just going to rotate those so that they're both tall and then this is the bottom insert for the glass stem and you're going to turn that round as well and then we'll go and get this one off the mat by just clicking on these three dots here and clicking move object and telling it that we're putting on there with those other three pieces and it comes in like that and then we'll turn that round and I'll just zoom out a bit so you can see and you can put that anywhere it fits on the mat and so if we press continue now we can see that we need one, two, three, four sheets of A3 or ledger or tabloid and this is the acetate window which will fit on A4, should have done that before um, yeah small enough to fit on A4 letter size is 216 by 279 um, yes it's, it'll fit on letter as well you can either use acetate or I also use these PVC sheets that you can buy to bind uh, documents that you might make with a document binding machine they're really cheap you can get them in all sorts of weights I'm using 180 micron at the moment but they're so cheap you could maybe go a little bit heavier and they're really nice they're quite flexible and really clear they make a nice window in a box okay so I'm not going to cut this so I'm just going to go back to the canvas and that's it it's fairly straightforward really for such a beautiful impressive looking box if you've got any questions when you come to cut it or build it don't hesitate to get in touch the links to do that are in the description below you can contact me on Etsy or Facebook whichever is easier for you and if you've just stumbled across this video and you'd like to buy the SVG the link to do that is also in the description below thanks a lot bye